So this guys is the memorial um, for Robert Ford and uh, we will be visiting his final resting place you can read the plaque there memory of Robert Ford or N 1875 to 1958 who served on Terra Nova with Captain Scott and took part in the 1910-1913 British Antarctic Expedition and you can see it says interred in the old church cemetery and we were lucky enough to be able to find his final resting place and I'll tell you a bit more about Robert there Hi guys um, so we are in Cove and we're in the old church ruin and cemetery here. Um, today we're going to find the final resting place of Robert Ford. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and tell you a little bit about his story. And then we will see his grave as well. So Robert Ford was born on the 29th of August 1875 to George Ford and Charity of Movidi in County Cork. Now when Robert was 16 years old, Robert joined the Royal Navy and he worked his way up through the ranks to eventually earn the rank and title of Petty Officer First Class. At the age of 35 on the 16th of April 1910, Robert volunteered for Robert F. Scott's Terra Nova expedition to Antarctica. His particular role in the mission was one of depot laying, an incredibly important task. In the grand scheme of things, he also worked with the survey teams and in the late January 1911, he spent six long weeks studying glaciers to the west of Ross Island. This research was carried out alongside geologists, physicists and other naval officers. Eight months later, in August of 1911, Robert, along with two lieutenants, made an expedition to the corner camp to check that the depot there was still intact for the explorers. Now, as a result of his time spent away from the ship on these expeditions, Robert Ford developed frostbite and um, he was ordered to return to the Terra Nova and eventually sent to New Zealand. Um, later then um, in his life it was noticed that he would always wear a glove on his frost bitten hand. Such was the severity of that injury. Now after his time on Scott's expedition Robert returned to his naval career. He served in the war in this capacity. Once he had been demobilised, he returned home to Ireland where he retired to Cove, which is here, in County Cork, the place where he would spend the rest of his days. Um, Robert died on the 13th of March 1959 at the age of 83, making him the oldest survivor muster man from Scott's crew. And as I said, he is buried here in the old church cemetery in Cove. Now we spent a lot of yesterday looking for Robert's grave and we couldn't find it. We were up here late yesterday evening and we met a lovely local gentleman and he actually brought me here to the final resting place of Robert Ford and this is it here. And it says actually erected by Robert Ford with Captain Scott B.A. Expedition 1910-13, Susan E. Ford died 19th of January 1942, Sarah Ford died 9th of March 1948 and the above. Robert Ford died 13th of March 1959. So this is Robert down at the bottom here. And uh, we have some wild flowers on his grave which is fitting um, because, uh, you know, his love 
of the Antarctica and the wilderness and you know I just think it's fitting for him that he is buried in his beautiful town of Cove in this beautiful cemetery. Rest in peace Robert and thank you for all you did and uh, as I say Robert is somewhat overshadowed by the famous um, Tom Crean from Kerry but uh, I thought it was it was nice to be able to remember Robert anyway and uh, bring you to his final resting place. So guys, um, that's it from me. Um, we have a few videos coming up on this beautiful cemetery. Um, and I mean, it is beautiful, very historical. And thanks to that lovely local man who brought us for a walk last night through history and gave us some really, really fantastic um, insight into the cemetery itself and some of the amazing headstones. And of course, brought me to Robert's um, resting place. So guys, from me in beautiful Cove, take care. God bless, and I'll talk to you all soon.